All right, Tropical Storm Andrea has entered the chat. What's going on, guys? Certified meteorologist Jonathan Keg is back with you. We're going to talk about Andrea and get on a little soapbox with that storm. We also have another round of Saharan dust moving across the Atlantic. The Eastern Pacific is about to crank out another named storm. And the huge heat, it's building. It's going to come to an end across the East and the Great Lakes. We're going to talk about that towards the end of the video. I will have chapters across the board so that you can see that in the description and bounce around to what interests you. There you have it. There's Andrea. We're going to talk about this in a second. But before we get into that, if you want to help take out the garbage of all the misinformation and the hype on social media, join the Just Weather Garbage Crew. That's what I call our little team as we are looking for that stuff. Hit that subscribe button for me, and we are going to get to it. We're all about sound science and meteorology. Speaking of which, there's Andrea. It's uh, very tightly... It's we're on a close view here. We're on the mesoscale channels. We can see those features minute by minute. Again, in my opinion, it doesn't look like much. It looked better yesterday morning in the Hurricane Center. Didn't classify it. It still has that spin, of course, but it just had some showers around it. So I don't know that I would have classified it as such, but here we go. The Hurricane Center pulling the trigger on the first name storm of the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. This is going to be an extremely short-lived storm as it moves across uh, the North Atlantic basin. The water temperatures here are into the mid-70s. There's the advisory from uh, early this morning, the first advisory, 11 o'clock Eastern time. And you see it there, the Hurricane Center has it maintaining 40 mile per hour tropical storm status as we get into Tuesday evening and then dying a very, very quick death as we get into the early hours of Wednesday. So there you have it on Andrea. That's about all the time that we're going to spend on it. It's not impacting anybody, and it is a very weak and that's kind of trash, if I do say so myself, at least the satellite presentation at this hour. So where Andrea is, again, we're talking about water temperatures into the mid to upper 70s, uh, south of the storm, right around 80. Yesterday, it was in the lower 80s, where it was firing off some more thunderstorms. Uh, I posted something in the community section last night that it was firing off some thunderstorms. It would be interesting to see if it was able to do it. Hurricane Center thought it did it enough, and then we have Andrea. So there is Andrea, the first name storm of the 2025 hurricane season. Post in the comments what you think about that. Saharan dust is moving across the Atlantic, another big batch of it. Again, I talked about it in yesterday's video. I do not think this is the start of the Atlantic waking up. This is kind of the anomaly to the overall non-favorable pattern we have going on in the Atlantic. So I don't think there's any cause for concern. I don't think we're going to see a bunch of storms getting named now. It's uh, asleep. The deep tropics are super, super sleeping right now. There's all the dust in brown, though, moving across the Lesser Antilles, my friends in Puerto Rico. Uh, towards the Virgin Islands, uh, Windward Islands, Leeward Islands, we have the thick dust around. That is going to continue to push towards the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and then also towards the Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, and then eventually the southeast corner of the United States again by the end of this week. I'll show you our dust model here. This is 2 o'clock on Tuesday, kind of where we are now. So again, uh, the satellite channel doing a very good job, as you would expect, picking up on that footprint of dust. But just look how thick things get as we move into Wednesday morning. That is 10 o'clock. You see it spiraling there through the Turks and Caicos into the Bahamas, and then back into South and Central Florida by the time we get towards 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. So more of that dirty rain going to be possible because we are going to increase rain chances across the southeast corner of the United States. So something to look out for, but this dust combined with some cooler than normal water temperatures in the main development region and uh, that strong, big Bermuda high. Those are the top three reasons why the Atlantic is not favorable. And we really didn't get help from the NJ MJO, the Madden-Julian oscillation. It parked itself in the Pacific uh, and stayed there. It was expected to try to push into the Western Caribbean a little bit to maybe give us something down there, but it is going to get hung up, and I'm not expecting that to aid in any development on the Atlantic Basin side. Pacific, different story. I think we're going to get name storm number six real quick. High chance for that to happen according to the National Hurricane Center, and likely that is going to happen as we get towards the end of this work week and then early next, uh, early 
over the weekend. I'll show you the model spin. Scientifically, meteorologically, we call this vorticity, and we're looking at the low to mid-level spin in the atmosphere here. When you see the yellows and oranges and reds pop up, that means that we have an area of greater spin that the model thinks is going to be there. So it kind of takes some of the noise out of some of the precipitation or the rainfall around it, and you can kind of see where the model is zeroing in on development. And you see something interesting here. There's kind of two entities. There's one there, and there's one there. And that might be one of the reasons why that it might take its time to actually become something super organized. Because when you have two entities or two uh, centers or quasi-centers trying to compete to be the dominant one, someone's got to win the fight. So the fight is going on for dominance, and as that's happening, it takes longer as a whole um, for the storm to organize. So still by Friday, unless the model is kind of late here, um, I don't know that we have a name storm. And then you see finally there, one of them wins dominance by the weekend. There is Sunday afternoon and evening. And then we have a, uh, certainly a stronger storm out here. So any interest in the Eastern Pacific off the coast of Mexico, again, have to watch out. I mean, it's, it's just wild because just how inactive the Atlantic is, it's been completely the opposite, as you would expect. And again, we've highlighted this at length through our videos over the past six to eight weeks that the MJO was going to basically come here and help to throw up and help to uh, force up, throw up's a bad word, force up all of these thunderstorms and eventually work their way into that tropical cyclone status as we have here. Again, likely the sixth name storm of the Eastern Pacific season coming before we close out June. Here is the tropical satellite uh, over that side, and we're looking at this area of spin right there. That is going to be happening. I have the reverse on. That's why it's like going back into in, in time here as opposed to loop forward. But that is the disturbance that we have in the Eastern Pacific that will eventually, again, try to develop and likely will by the end of this work week and especially over the weekend. We're going rapid fire here. We have a ton to talk about today. So if you're still with me, post in the comments where you're tuning in from. Hit that thumbs up button. You know the drill. And if you're finding this content informative, I hope you are. If you're not, please tell me. I really won't be offended. Whatever you like to see on this channel, please. I take suggestions, all that stuff. I'm like the radio DJ call in all that stuff uh we're here for you guys we're all a team here and uh we want to just fight that misinformation and, and just have a, a nice channel where we can all hang out and discuss the weather nerd out and everything good news in detroit chicago the heat wave is going to come to an end there's tomorrow wednesday june 25th we're in the upper 70s in detroit mid 70s in chicago uh that's like winter jacket worthy compared to where we just were upper 90s yesterday in detroit just wild another hot day today of course uh low to mid 90s in the uh, extreme northeast boston new york philly we're still in the upper 90s pittsburgh 92 roanoke 99 by the way these boxes they're color coded to represent uh blue being below normal that orange color being above average and then the red, we don't have any red here to, uh, for Wednesday, but that indicating where a record high temperature is forecast. The gray is average, and you see we're right where we should be in Philly. Still above, uh, getting back to above Pittsburgh and points west. Backdoor cold front coming through in New England, and that's going to send temperatures. Same the deal. Look at us in Boston. 71 for a high on Thursday. That's like almost 30 degrees cooler than where we've been over the past couple of days so again that's going to be a shock to the system and then giant change again high is going to struggle to get out of the 60s in boston on friday meanwhile the heat continues to rage uh really west of the appalachians columbus cincy lexington and low to mid 90s roanoke we're at 92 detroit 90 again so it's i mean it's really a tale of two sides of the mountain pretty much um cooler to the east much warmer uh to the west just some wild stuff going on uh, when you're talking about the changes in the weather. All righty, guys. So, again, that Andrea being named, it was a surprise to me. I was surprised to see it named. I saw them up the percentage today. I did not think that it would uh, do that. We talked about that in yesterday's video. I still think it was borderline. But, again, that is the call of the National Hurricane Center. So as they see fit, it did have thunderstorms erupt overnight, and that helped to tighten things up a little bit. But still, 
Um, not much there when you're looking at the satellite picture. But nonetheless, first name storm of the season, pretty much right on schedule. Again, the first one typically na is named on June 20th or by June 20th, the first uh, name storm in the Atlantic hurricane season. Nonetheless, I do think we are still in a very quiet period in the Atlantic, and that should continue. What is it today? Today is June 24th. That should continue over at least through the 4th of July, probably through the middle of July, and maybe even beyond that, in all, in all honesty. All righty, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you soon.